right, so day 18, I believe. Uh, I believe it's Saturday morning. I think. Uh, anyhow, so you can see that it's wet again. It's lightly raining right now, but at 2.30 this morning, winds started howling through the trees. Crazy wind, crazy wind. And then it started raining, pouring. But I stayed dry. A hammock is the way to go. And unfortunately, my good friend's no name, AKA Cody, uh, and Honeybee, well, they set their tent up in a low spot. It was a flat spot, it was a tent spot, but it was low enough that it, they woke up in water. They got rained out uh, right out of their tent. So that sucks. I know how they feel. I feel for them. They're soaking wet. But the good news is we're going into Gatlinburg. We're going into Gatlinburg uh, for the day. We're pulling a Nero, only doing about five miles um, because there's even a bigger storm coming in this afternoon with damaging winds. We don't need trees falling over on top of us out here in the woods. Uh, they're still saying half dollar sized hail and possible tornadoes. So most, pretty much everybody that we've come across on the trail has said they're going in. Hope they got enough motel rooms because there's a lot of people out here. <laughs> and uh, and that's, that includes, there's probably still people, there's people that probably checked in there last night uh, and staying a couple of days, so. But, yeah, so yeah, kind of a recap yesterday. Uh, who knows what the miles were. My app on my phone says it was just right about 16 miles, but the Appalachian Trail Guide said it should have been like 13 miles. And then the signs that they have here in the Smoky Mountains, I don't know. We got into camp last night, or we got to the shelter last night, where, well, the turnoff where the shelter was. And, oh, kind of dizzy. Um, and it said the shelter was 0.5 miles. It's like, now we gotta walk a half a mile in. Check this out. Oh, real quick, these are edible. We're gonna try some tomorrow night. Um, anyway, come up the trail here. Anyhow, oh, look at that tree that fell over. Crazy! Anyway, so, shelter's half mile in at the sign. But we get to the shelter, and it shows a sign. It shows a couple other things, in the directions to another trail. But then it said, Appalachian Trail. Point three. So is it point three miles or is it point five? And we saw this all day yesterday, where it said the next shelter was point two four. It was more like four and a half. I mean, they need to fix their signage, check their books, do something. Because a lot of people's apps are showing differently, but. I'm gonna show you another tree. Now, I want you to take a look at this. Where is the hole in the ground? Tis not a hole in the ground. 
I've noticed a lot of this. These trees basically, the root system just grows just barely below the surface of the dirt and the rock. Holy moly. Look at the root system in that. There's a little bit of a hole. There's a rock. Yeah, that root system doesn't go down deep at all. I've seen a lot of those in here. Kind of scary. There's a big tree to fall in. There's some more. But anyway, so nevertheless, we did somewhere between 13 and 16 miles yesterday. <laughs> and uh, like I said, it rained really hard through the night. It stopped right Right about a quarter to seven this morning. We left at seven, got up at six o'clock, started packing things up, um, and got to moving. Okay, it's getting too hot in here. Um, we're going to, you know, that goofy thing on my hair. We got to, uh, we're going to catch a shuttle in the Gatlinburg, and apparently there's a really good place for breakfast. Uh, that a bunch of us are going to meet at. And, uh, yeah. Talk about the trail. <laughs> or whatever else comes up. Um, so, I think I might have said this in a previous video, but I met this guy. Um, and he hiked the PCT last year. This year he's hiking the Appalachian Trail. And when he gets to Maine, his bike is there. He has bicycle shipped to Maine, where he will then bicycle to New Mexico. That's a journey. And then from there, he will proceed to hike the Continental Divide Trail for his Triple Crown. Huh. I don't know. They're everywhere. Here comes another one, and there's another one. There's no Holy moly, there's all kinds of them in here. One, two, three. Another one. Oh, two of them over there. Five. <laughs> Yeah, I'd hate to be in here camping at night. This place, though, is amazing. Um, I mean, look, just kind of eerie feeling. Very green, mossy, wet. Anyhow, well, so just kind of for today, um, like I said, we're just going to go to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, spend the day, get a room, dry out whatever we got, dry it out. I mean, I got some clothes that are kind of wet, and my tarp is wet. Um, I got out my bag and man this is great hit the 200 mark yesterday that was pretty awesome uh, tonight I guess there's a barbecue place it's got excellent ribs we'll try that or maybe I'll just go back to the room and have my dehydrated meals which actually last night, my, my chili that I had last night that I detailed at home, oh, that was good. That was good eats. So, anyway, I'll give you a little bit of trail. A little bit of trail time here. Whoa, I almost went down.
Alright everybody. Uh, put the phone off here. Get to moving. Probably within an hour of reaching the road. Getting into Gatlinburg. And uh, oh actually one more thing. It was really cool last night. We got the shelter uh, and met this kid. Now, I mentioned before that these shelters can be reserved by campers, hikers like that uh, and the shelter was reserved and full, but there was a kid there that's been here for about a year from Venezuela, uh, 19 years old. He came up with a church group, um, and he thought this was kind of a crazy deal. They hiked like two and a half miles, and it kind of warm out. Look at this cool rock. Every now and then there's these white rocks here, really cool. But anyway, um, and we got to talking to him and to ask him questions. He never realized that you could hike this long trail. So he thought it was crazy that we were hiking all these miles through the States. And he became interested. And so he started asking questions to me and others. And so for probably nearly two hours, he was getting information about hiking and gear and all that. And, he took a serious, it seemed like quite a serious interest. <laughs> Thought it was really cool. Thought it'd be a lot of fun. And uh, before I went to bed last night, he was like, this is really neat, you know, thanks. And being able to meet all these people. Now I've met people from the Netherlands and Canada and all different walks of life. This is really cool. I like it. <laughs> so that was pretty neat to be able to share with somebody that, uh, Really knew nothing about the Appalachian Trail. Appalachian, Appalachian, however you say it. Potato, potato. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you in the next one.